Hi, this is Kanababu. This is part 15 of SQL Server FAQs. In this video, I will discuss about self-join. Let us see what is a self-join. Self-join means joining the table by itself is called a self-join. So generally, let us see here. For example, if you consider there is one table called EMP with columns E number, E name and MID. Your MID is manager ID and E number is employee number. So my requirement is write a query to display the employee name along with what manager names. Write a query to display the employee name along with manager name. So here if you observe clearly, so who is the manager of Jaydeep? No one is there. So here Jaydeep is there. And who is the manager of John? One. Who is one? Jaydeep. So it means that John is working under Jaydeep. And who is the manager of Tom? One. Means who is one? Jaydeep. So Tom is also working under Jaydeep. And who is James? James is working under whom? Who is the manager of James? Two. Who is two? John. So James is working under John. And who is Jacob? Jacob is working under two. That is John. So Jacob is working under John. And who is Jenny? Jenny is working under 3. The manager of Jenny is 3, means Tom. So Jenny is working under Tom. And who is George? George is, who is the manager of George? 4, 4 means James. So George is working under James. Is it clear? So this is the diagram. Right? So Jaydeep is the manager. There is no manager for what? Jaydeep. He is the superior. Is it clear? So, this is my requirement. So, what is my question here? Write a query to display the employee names along with manager names. So, here in order to write um, the query to display the employee names and manager names, actually there is one table is there. Self-join means what? Joining the table by itself is called self-join. Actually, one table is there. Now, I am considering one table as two tables. So, the same table I am considering as two tables I by giving two alias names, two different alias names I will give. One I will give as E, other one I will give as M. Actually, originally one table is only there, but I am considering one table as two tables by giving two different alias names. So, here E represents employee table and M represents what? Manager table. Is it clear? So, here if you observe clearly, every employee is not a manager, but every manager is an employee. If you observe clearly, manager, before manager, he must be employee in the organization, then only he will become as a manager. So, here what I am doing here, in M, in E table, you think these all are what employee numbers, in M table, you think these all are what manager IDs. Is it clear? So, here for example, now who is the manager of Jaydeep? So, in E table, who is Jaydeep? Jaydeep is an employee. And who is the manager of Jaydeep? No one is there. Leave it. Next, in E table, who is John? John is an employee. So, who is the manager of John? One. Who is one? So, go to manager table and check who is one. He is Jaydeep. Means in manager table, employee number will become as what? Manager ID. Is it clear? So, who is the manager of Tom? In E table, Tom is an employee. And uh, his uh, manager is one. So, go to manager table, M table. And who is one? Jaydeep. So here, I want to display in E table what is E name? Employee name. In M table what is E name? Manager name. Don't confuse here. So I will write the query in simple manner like, I will try to write like this. Select what I want. I want to select the employee name. Where is employee name? In employee table. Means E table. Select E dot E name as, as E name or employee name. As is the alias name that was given. Select E dot E name. From EMP table, I want to catch E name. Is it clear? Comma. And here I want to catch what? M dot. M dot E name as. M dot E name as. Manager. Are you following? See here if you observe clearly. Originally one table is there with name EMP. But I am considering one table as two tables. By giving two alias names. One is E. Other one is M. So, E represents employee table, M represents manager table. I want to display the employee name from E table and manager name from M table. So, select E dot E name. 
as employee name comma m dot e name as manager name because i want this to the employee name along with manager name from from which table employee emp e join emp m you consider that we are applying join for e table and m table originally one table is there but we are considering as two tables based on the condition on on e dot what mid on e dot mid is equals to m dot e number here you don't confuse so who is the manager of james who is the manager of james means first you are going to e table and in e table you are catching what mid is it clear and going to m table and you are catching what e number are you following so the manager of james is 2 so who is 2 in m table john in manager table you don't concentrate on mid this is waste column you leave this column that is not required actually here this is only mid and this is employee number that is how you can write the query let us see i will try to execute this query here i will try to write the query once again select e dot e name as employee as employee name emp name comma m dot e name comma here i will write m dot e name as uh, manager as manager from emp e join emp m on e dot m id is equals to m dot e number so press f5 so the manager of john is jdeep here you see who is the manager of john here you can check jdeep who is the manager of tom jdeep who is the manager of james john who is the manager of jacob john who is the manager of jenny tom who is the manager of george james perfect output but here as a developer you must know how the query is executing let us see that one also once so let us see how the query is executing first of all it is checking what the condition if the condition is true then execute this query so i will write something like this what is the i will write if e dot mid is equals to m dot e number then write the query what i want to display select e dot e name comma m dot e name something like that that query what i have written i want to execute now let us see here i want to display what this is my output i want to display employee name as well as manager name now here you see first check the condition e dot mid means what e dot mid is null m dot e number one null is equals to one condition is what false null is equals to two three four five six seven so condition is false next one joins means every row of left table will join with each row of right table now e dot mid is 1 1 is equals to 1 condition is what true now select e dot e name uh, what is e name john from e table and uh, m dot e name what is m name jaydeep from m table so the manager of john is jaydeep now again 1 is equals to 2 3 4 5 6 7 condition is false now again you check 1 is equals to 1 condition is what true so execute the query select e dot e name what is e name tom and m dot e name jaydeep so is the manager of tom jaydeep again is it clear now here you check here one is equals to two false three four five six seven false now uh, e dot m i d two is equals to one false two is equals to two true so what is the employee name james what is the manager name uh, john and here next two is equals to remaining three four five conditions are false if condition is false this query will not execute and again two is equals to two condition is true so what is the employee name jacob jacob and what is the manager name john jacob is also working under john next three is equals to one false two false three true condition is true then bring what i want to bring jenny and here you can the manager of jenny is tom and 4 is equals to 1 2 3 4 true so 4 is equals to 4 true so who is the employee name george and what is the manager name james is it clear this is george and this is james 
So this is the output actually. These all are the employee names and manager names. This is very popular query in solution. Let us see in the output. John, Jadeep, Tom, Jadeep, James, John, Jacob, John, Jenny, Tom, George, James. The same output is there. Right? So, self join means joining the table by itself is called as self join. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.